Hello and welcome to another update video about Say. Say is clearly struggling, clearly struggling. Um, the chart isn't really moving to the upside. It's just sort of grinding say sideways. <laughs> really hurts my eyes. Uh, it, it's getting increasingly, yeah, messy and complex, this structure here. So the idea is still that in the white scenario, which remains my preferred scenario, um, a wave four bottomed on the 23rd of January and that we completed a wave one to the upside, a wave two down, the wave three up, the wave four down into the support area. The market is clearly trying to form a low here, but just hasn't clearly bottomed yet. And um, I would still like to see one more high to, well, at least $1.07. That's basically the next main FIP level above the previous third wave high. So that would be technically speaking the minimum expectation um, $1.07 better and clearer would be $1.21 but I'm not sure if it's going to get there because this wave 4 was quite deep now okay mm. the, so this is overall still at the moment the the idea still the base case but I have to say it's it's obviously increasingly uh, weak and messy there so a break below the 72 cent level which is the lower boundary line of the uh, micro support area in which the price currently is trying to form a low a break below that level yeah would likely activate the yellow count yeah do i like it do i like the count no but um i it's a very complex a b c structure here or it might even be a w x y depending on how this move down is structured then but it looks it it doesn't look impulsive down so if it's a c wave down it would be an ending diagonal or something but probably would work better as a wxy pattern that however isn't really important at this stage it's important to know that be below 72.3 cents it becomes increasingly likely that this white wave 4 isn't playing out and that we are still in the larger fourth wave um i i don't prefer this count but yeah the market doesn't really care about that so the, the it is a count it is a scenario that is valid that we need to consider. And if we break below 72.3 cents, it becomes increasingly likely that the 63 to 52 cent support area here is getting tested again. Because we have an overshooting B wave, however, the C wave might not necessarily end below the A wave low, so it could end above it as well. Yeah, so that's something to consider. Um, but the structure would then be a different one. So it would mean that the fifth wave then still has to unfold later. Yeah, so that's what I'm observing here. I'm looking at the microstructure at the moment. I would still focus on the white count. But again, I have to say it's getting increasingly messy. But would still prefer higher. But also the last rally here was just a three wave move. I'm thinking, how could this be structured? I mean, I've got this um, fourth wave that could have bottomed already. Okay, so then in this scenario... We have an ABC structure in a larger A wave. This year could be the B wave low, but the C wave hasn't clearly started. It takes a sustained break above basically 94 cents to suggest the C wave has started and could take us to $1.07. It is possible that this B wave is unfolding as a triangle though. Triangles are five wave patterns that move only in corrective structures. A, B, C, D, E. And then we could move up from there. So that's just something I'm observing in parallel. But yeah, not much movement, just sideways overlapping corrective action. Doesn't clearly indicate that this C wave has started or actually that wave 5 has started. Looks very, very much like corrective overlapping price action, very weak. But again, it's part of an ending diagonal. I mean, this white count is an ending diagonal, which started on the 23rd of January here. Because all these waves are three wave structures, all the sub waves. Okay, so also here, A, B, and maybe if the C wave can start and launch, I mean, then we're off. You know, 94 cents, above 94 cents, it should be gone. But won't go far <laughs> because the $1.7 level is already the next target. And then maybe $1.21 before a more substantial top is formed. So we'll see how that, how that um, unfolds. And yeah, 72 cents here, 72.3 is the key support. Below that, it's going to get difficult. Micro support level, obviously, all these previous swing lows here at 81 cents, 79.1, and then 77.4. That's going to be an important one because that's the 50% retracement level, very important for a wave four in general. But in a diagonal, we have to give it, we have to allow it to come down to, if, if the white wave four is still unfolding, then we have to allow it to come down to the 72 cent level.
So at the moment we're exploring if wave four is already finished. If not, okay, it can it can reset, it can reset the wave four and test the support lower, but below 72 cents, it's a different count. That's my update about Say. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.